Titus 2 to 1 to 8 KJV but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith and charity, in patience, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine. of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Likewise, exhort to be sober-minded, in all things shewing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you, when Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, when he grows up, he will not depart from it, Proverbs 20-26. talks about all-round and encompassing training, which the rich and the wealthy who little or no time for their children. money and resources at the finishing school after tertiary institution. Children and even adults who are not exposed to this kind of training regarded as social misfits, lack character, mannerless and uncouth. They struggle with relationships, find it very difficult, if not impossible to maintain a dignified position. They 
have little or nothing worth while to pass down to the next generation or their wards. They constitute a problem or nuisance to the society. Which you never have any testimony of yourself knowing it. You are going to witness the last time in this. Definitely. Imagine just when you alone, maybe you and your family members, or maybe you are a medical person there, it might be you and even strangers. Giving the law enforcement agents a running battle to keep them in check or lock away. Job 38 to 1 to 3 KJV then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words, without knowledge, gird up now thy loins like a man? For I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. Psalms 119 to 65, 67 KJV, Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Come to play when you are about to exit this world. I have given the example several times, and I, and I read in a particular literature about the testimony of atheists. Those who say they don't believe in God. They, their testimony at the last dying minutes. All of them that said that there was there's no God, there's no God, there's no God. <coughs> God deliberately makes them to witness those last dying hours, minutes, so that he can give them a confirmation. Before I was afflicted I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Another reason for the season and birth of Jesus Christ is to impact knowledge. Stupidity. What you are saying at those times, well, this is the reality of it. Then from the testimony I read, some of them were even seeing God directly in the last dying minutes. They were seeing God directly. The Bible also says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. In the new year, don't wallow in ignorance and exalt default option. Satan's church, the guy that started it, was saying, ah, I regret my life. I should not have gone the way I went. That God that was walking against in the satanic club, that's, that's him standing in front of me right now. That's him there. I'm seeing him. <laughs> I'm 
Get knowledge, get understanding, apply it with the Word of God, and it will become wisdom. Enjoy your day, AOD. That is not where I'm actually going because it's very deep. But I'm not going to go too much. What happens is that they prospered him at a cost. And when I mean at a cost, at a human cost, at human cost. Because, see, I have shared it before and I'm quickly going to share it again. Every power, every prosperity in the world anywhere in the world go and search it out is sustained by the blood every every power every prosperity every wealth is sustained by the blood in the kingdom of god the blood that sustains the power behind you as a christian is the blood of jesus in the other world, the blood that sustains them could be animal blood, it could be human blood. But the more of what power you have, the more of what wealth you have, animal blood cannot sustain it. They are sustained by human blood. Because they don't have access to the blood that we have. So, all powers are, they, they sustained, he, he prospered. He prospered. Well, materially, if you want to say prosperity, financial, he could have gotten the same thing from the kingdom of God. If only he had been patient. If only he could have, he, was, he had gotten into a relationship with the kingdom of light. He could have gotten the same thing, even better. But he was deceived. Of course, I had a cut-off relationship with him a long time ago. The day he was about to die, if lying minutes of his life, when he was about to die, when he was about to exit, he was hospitalized for, was it was not what was called, cancer? of the this or cancer of the that, he was hospitalized. He was in the hospital for a, a few days. So the last few minutes of his life, when he was about to die, a family, his wife was there, his children were there, one or two or three friends were also there at the deathbed in the hospital. He wasn't even up to 60. All of a sudden, he just said, ah, who put up the light? I said it in my post. 
See, I always post these things to put each one of us on our in our on our toes. That this world we are living in is a transient world, very transient. Sooner than later, it will come to pass. Hundred years will come to pass. Two hundred years, will, even three hundred years. Will come. How many people live up to three hundred years these days? How many people even live up to hundred? A lot of people by 70-something, 60-something, 80-something, 90-something, they give up the ghost and go. See, that's why these posts are coming, to open the eyes of the blind, to let you know that it is a transient process. Transient. So he said, who put up the light? They said, ah, nobody put up, it was in the afternoon like this. They said, nobody put up the light. He said, somebody put up the light. He wasn't seeing them anymore. They were no longer visible. It was as if he became blind. Everything about him became dark. And of course, those who of, of the kingdom of dark, the host of darkness, had come to pay him a permanent visit. <laughs> to take him away. A few minutes after that, because his family members were saying, well, but the light is on, everything is on, but they didn't know what had happened. He knew what had happened. A few minutes after, he gave up the ghost. Those whose company was going to keep for life, for eternity, had come to take away their own. So sad. And of course, you have testimony of people who are they about to exit. They see a host of heaven singing choruses, singing and dancing and in white robes, singing hallelujah, rejoicing, bright lights. There are testimonies of that too. It's not just of them in the darkness, kingdom of darkness. Oh, they said, no, 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 I want to go, I want to go, please permit me, let me exit this place. I want to go and join them on the other side. People don't remember those days that, are, that will surely come, whether you like it or not. You can't help it. Just like the day you entered, there's a day you exit. But how that day of exit will be, on which side of the divide you are going to be for eternity, the preparation starts now. I don't know how old you are. You might be 20, you might be 30, you might be 40, you might be 50. I'm 67. I've had a good life. God has been good to me. And I cannot deny that. Sooner than later, that same scenario of the last few minutes of the, my time here, I'm going to face it, whether I like it or not. Whether you like it or not, you are going to face it. Because the owner of the breath, if you remember in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, he said the, the, the breath, the Lord God Almighty had formed man out of the dust, out of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. He breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. That's the same breath we are using right now to be able to attend this meeting to be able to move around, to be able to do one or two things that you want to do on a daily basis. It is that breath that is sustaining you. Job chapter 33 also confirms it. He said, let me quickly read that to you too, because I'm still coming back to the book of Daniel. Chapter 33 verse 4 said, The Spirit of God had made me. Hallelujah. And the breath of the Almighty has given me life. The Spirit of God has made me. 
point to any human being out of about almost 8 billion souls in the world today that the Spirit of God has not made. Point to one for me, please. Ah, I know somebody in uh, Haiti. I know somebody in Argentina. I know somebody in Japan. I know somebody in Saudi Arabia. I know somebody in England. I know somebody in Nebraska. It's just point to one person that the Spirit of God has not made and has given the breath of life. Not one. Not one. So it is an act of ingratitude. It is an act of disloyalty to God for any human being to go and align with a cultic world. i just give you an example. The one that started the church of Satan at the last minute of his bread, of his life, he regretted ever starting off that church. Because the, work, the God he was working against was right, right in front of him in the last minute. I said, you are working against me. <laughs> he was seeing God. He was seeing the other side he was going to go as punishment for life, for eternity. So it's an act of ingratitude for somebody who gives you his own breath to sustain you for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years. You now abandon that one that gave you that breath and you follow deception, the lies and deceit of those in the kingdom of darkness just because you want power, just because you want money or your resources or you want fame or you want connection. And those connections are of what less value to you in the day of trouble. Those connections, those powers, those resources, when the day of vicissitude of challenges of life will come, you will discover that those things you have aligned with, abandoning the one that gave you his breath to sustain you for 70, 80, 90, 100 years, abandoning that one and go and align with deception just because of transient things, you will discover that those, uh, those alignments will become useless when you go into trouble in the air, in flying. I've never seen one, not one, when they are flying in the air and the pilot said, hey, we have a challenge, we have a problem here in the air. The engine, two engines have stopped working. Only two left that we have to manage till we get to where we can, the nearest place we can land. None of them who call their cultic associations to come and help them. No, not one. None of them can be assisted when they are in the belly of the ocean and needing somebody to deliver them. None of their associates can help them. But only God can help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly, let me add this to it before I forget. Let me tell you this. Whatever challenge you are facing right now, whatever challenge you are facing right now, if all men have disappointed you, all men, they have refused to pick your call or to assist you, but you know God is with you. Go and sleep. God will show up. He's a faithful God. He will. I don't know whether you heard me. He will show up. The giver of all breath will never disappoint you. Calling people to assist you and they promise to assist you and all of a sudden you are calling them, they are not picking your calls. Don't worry yourself about it. They will not pick your call because God has somebody better with better solution than what they would have delivered to you. That's why God has blocked them from picking your call.
It's God that is working. Remember the scripture, the, the, what do you call it? Romans 8, 28 said, All things are working together for the good of those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. All things. So relax yourself. I know people are facing challenges of, in, life, of life, in life and of life. Relax. The Bible says, Commit your ways unto the Lord and he will direct your path. The giver of all breath. Let me read the Daniel to you before I talk too much and finish my time in talking and talking. Book of Daniel, chapter uh, Daniel, chapter chapter twelve. Look at what it says here. Look at what it says here. Verse one to three. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the, the prince, the great prince, which standeth for the children of the people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation given to that same time. And at the time that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. See, if your name is not in the book of register, for those who are qualified to be employed in a very high profile company that will pay you very well, maybe a million dollars every month, you won't be called for an interview. I'm sure you know that. If your book is not in their register, they only contact those whose names are in the book. The same thing with the book of life. We are in the last dying minutes of your life. If your name is not there, hey, you will see it a few minutes before you leave. They will give you an idea where you are going. They will open up the register and say, it's about to come, it's about to come. Three minutes before the time. They will give you, they will out their register. Is his name here? Just like the one of employment, which I just told you now. If your name is not there, they will call you for interview. They will call you to come and resume work. On the other side, today, if you have a register, see, Everyone that shall be found written in the book. For your name to be written in the book, in that glorious book of life, your activity or what will make you qualify to be written there starts now. If by adventure your life had not been fantastic before now, just ask God for forgiveness, to forgive you. But you have an opportunity now, and I mean now, to recalibrate, to rethink, and begin to walk in the right direction. So if your name is not found in the book, they will say, my friend, they will be showing you dark areas. You will be seeing it, just like the guy I just gave you an example that they say, who put off the light? They will say, your name is on the other side. Go to the other side. It will not be your portion. Verse 2 says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. Did you hear that? And some to shame and everlasting contempt, turmoil, crying, disaster. I've just given you an example in employment. Two of you have just been gone for the same interview. One was employed, one was not employed. The one that gets employment with... Addendum kindly press the middle paragraph twice. It will stop for you to read after reading press. Once it will continue to the next page and repeat saying till you finish reading things. It remains jobless. No, just think about how it is. You get the employment, the other guy doesn't get the employment and you begin to get paid $1 million every month. And of course, your life changes. Everything about you changes. Your lifestyle, your, everything goes up. How will the guy who did not get the employment, how will you feel? That's exactly what is happening. Some are admitted into the kingdom of eternity with God. Some are sent away to those in the kingdom of darkness.